every production I've ever worked on has always come to this moment in time where this conversation will will be had, and it's it's always a uh, a funny conversation because you 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 know until very recently it was it was a very hard conversation to uh, to to come to a conclusion on, but ultimately what happens is this: I'll come into work, and the art director, director, producer, or the PA, or somebody will come up to me and say. Um, we have a problem, and I'll be okay. Yeah, we we had a look at the model, and, and ultimately they're going to be looking at something like this. We had a look at the model, and it looks good. I mean, it it really looks good. It looks, you know, it it. You know, we matched your drawing. Yeah, no, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, you guys did a fantastic job. It really looks amazing. But we just don't feel it captures the essence of the design. Okay. I don't know. Maybe it's the knees. Maybe it could be the knees. It could, yeah. Well, or maybe the torso, I, you know. Okay. What I've learned is that there reacting to a static T-pose model. They're reacting to a lifeless, neutral model. They're not reacting to the art itself. They're not reacting to the quality of it. They're not reacting to um, how real the end result looks or how great the renders are. They're, that's not what they're reacting to. They're reacting to the lack of life. Bring in transpose. Okay, so let's have a look at transpose. Let's go ahead and load that alien up. And what I want you to uh, take note of up here is that you've got your move, scale, and rotate. And as long as you're up here uh, in one of these modes, you're essentially in transpose. So let's go ahead and click on rotate. And I'm going to hold control and basically drag a mask up to the shoulder there. And that now. Let me just redraw this line here. Now I can essentially select where the pivot is going to be and draw this transpose line out. What I've essentially done here is I've rigged this character on the fly. Now that I have this, I can just select this area and I can move. I can rotate that elbow that quickly. And then I can basically do the same down here. I can come in here and select this area and do it this way. And I'll invert this mask. And then, uh, let's have a look at the side here. And I'll basically draw from the elbow. And I'm just going to position this so that it's uh, actually running down the elbow. Make sure. Look, for, look at it from all sides. Whoops. One more time. Okay. Position this elbow. Now I can take this and I can rotate it. And then I can do the same over here. Do the hand. Rotate the hand. So quite quickly we can go in and uh, and create a pose and get the character uh, of feeling like he's alive versus being uh, static. Now one of the things that I want you to uh, to also take note of here is I'm going to uh, in turn this to the side view here and then I'm going to mask out the head. I'm going to invert that mask and I'm going to go ahead and create a transpose line off of that and I'm also going to center this back in because obviously the pivot point is important there. Well if you have a look at this and if I go ahead and select the center one and start moving you're going to see that the eyes do not move with it and they, the reason the eyes don't move with it is because they are separate objects. So how do we get around this? Well there's two ways. One you can actually combine your mesh together and then create the uh, a single mesh that you can use transpose on. The other is there is a there's a oh there it is. <laughs> the other is uh, 
you can use a Z plugin called Transpose Master. And by clicking on T-Pose to Mesh, it'll actually cycle through your mesh and create a low, a low, a low res version with all of your with all of your geometry combined into that. And then you can go ahead and pose that, and then click T-Pose to Sub-T, and that'll pick up the mesh and apply all of that rotation into uh, into your new mesh. So let me just do one thing here. I'll delete my hire, and let's just go through that process. Clear my mask, and uh, let's go to the Z plugin, and we'll click T post the mesh. All right, so there we have uh, the T pose mesh. So now I can actually go in and once again select that area that was giving me a problem before and click rotate and rotate the head you know as I see fit can maybe do something with the with the body here so Quite quickly, you see that we can uh, we can start creating a pose. And once once you're happy with the pose, you just go back to your Z plugin and click T pose to sub D, and it will cycle through them. And voila, you now have you now have your character your high resolution character with all of that, uh, with all the new information. By using that, uh, I was able to create lots of uh, neat little poses like these ones. And so transpose is really quick. It allows you to go in there and really get at the character, the heart of the character and be able to bring him to life. And, uh, and the whole idea of this character, by the way, came uh, from a conversation that my wife and, ha and I had after watching Close Encounters of the Third Kind. And we thought, it, you know, I thought it would be really neat to be able to create a, uh, an alien exit se scene out of, uh, out of uh, a spaceship. And, uh, and to kind of uh, put an homage of, to the 1970s, we kind of did it in, uh, in a whole disco theme. So there you go. Well, thank you very much. I hope you've enjoyed this. Keep thinking of forward progression. Keep moving forward with your artwork. Try to avoid going backwards. And it's a, it's a great little tool. It's a great process.